Guys, um, FX Hippo here. Um, I'm just sort of gonna give a quick look at Final Cut Pro. I'm not gonna review it or anything. I'm just going to do one simple thing. I'm gonna tell you. I think it's three, two or three steps that'll make Final Cut Pro a bit less iMovie like for you and give you that little bit of hope which you might still have for it, um, which I've already lost for it. But, you know, just to make your experience a bit more um, pleasing, I'm going to show you a few things. Okay? So, one annoying thing that's been carried over from my movie is this. I'm not clicking or anything, I'm just hovering over my timeline. And it's scrubbing through the audio and the video, and it's really annoying me. Um, yeah, when you try to talk, it's sort of. Yeah, it's annoying. Okay, so, yeah, um, what I would do, just to make it a bit less, again, less iMovie-like and more Final Cut Pro-like, come over here to your, um, turn video and audio skimming on or off, turn it off, um, and audio skimming is off already if you turn that off. So now, ah, peace, you don't have to skim through the audio, oh, that's great. Um, you can actually turn the video skimming on and the audio skimming off, so you can still skim through the video, but I still find that really annoying when I'm setting a point and then going, wanting to go to the effects window, and it's skimming through the... Ah, okay, so I just turn that off as well, and ah, peace, it's just like, you know, good old Final Cut Pro 7, uh, normal, okay. Um, and that's about it, really. The rest of the program is pretty much iMovie. Um, Okay, no, not really. There are some really cool features um, that I'm actually still getting used to. The timeline for me is the biggest thing to get used to. I'm still not 100% sure about it. Um, but yeah, that's my few little tips to make your Final Cut Pro X experience a bit less iMovie.